The ocean is a huge storehouse of food. Down the ages, it has given its wealth freely to man and bird. But drilling for oil beneath the ocean floor may be asking for trouble. Drilling may also affect shore birds, such as this snipe. Cormorants live here in the seashore environment. Drilling from this rig, oilmen have struck a gusher. Now the oil gushes forth out of control, polluting the ocean. The spilled oil floats toward land. There is no way to stop it. This is one of many drilling sites in the Santa Barbara Channel, just a few miles from shore. The waves smear California's clean beaches with oil. For days, it drips and oozes from the rocks. If you've ever tried to get tar off your feet, you know what a job it will be to clean up the goo. Boats toss tons of straw onto the oil slicks. Hopefully, the straw will soak up the oil. Workers rake up the oil-soaked straw as fast as it washes ashore. But meanwhile, at sea, the oil will continue to gush for many days to come. Tractors scoop up the thick mix of oil and sand. Everything possible is being done to save the beaches and some wildlife. This western grebe manages to reach shore. Other birds were not so lucky. Thousands perished at sea. You can see how the oil has glued his feathers and wings together. He's puzzled and helpless. Completely at the mercy of the tide, he still could drown or swallow oil, which is poison. As he tries to set things straight by preening his feathers, he does swallow oil. At the bird laundry, some kind, concerned people give him a chemical bath. The oil is washed off, but so are his natural body oils. Clear water removes the chemicals. After this bath, he will be placed in the drying cages. Despite this care, most of the washed birds died. Only 2% survived. Dead birds along the shore, victims of the oil spill, became a very usual sight. Perhaps the ocean is telling us that if we want clean, healthy shores, we must care for our environment. <laughs>